Hello, it is the end of my day. It is like 10 to 10. I'm watching Zoella and I just thought I would quickly, like my makeup is not doing so good right now. But I mean, the eyeshadow is looking pretty okay. Um, so just doing like a little update so far. I haven't had any of my tablets yet. I'm kind of scared, to be honest, to use them. I don't know why, I just kind of am. Partly because they're hot tablets, they're not like... I don't know. Like, I feel like an antidepressant's less scary to me. If it's meant for your brain, if it messes my brain up, I don't think I'd care that much, which is stupid. Like, if something's wrong with my heart, I would just type tell it to just fix it. Um, I don't know, I'm like, I don't know, but I just wanted to like say like a weird thing I've been having lately is I kind of like lie down for a very long period of time, like I used to, like when I would finish school, I would always just end up like lying down in my bed and watch YouTube and I don't know if it's since having a job, I think when I wasn't in college and I didn't have a job and I was doing nothing all day, then I would feel like this after like hours and hours of not doing anything. But now it's like an hour and a half and then I feel like this and it's like I feel restless and like anxious and I've never had that from like relaxing, like I'm not doing anything. But since like my job and like doing stuff constantly for six and a half hours a day like it's not even a long work day like people work longer I don't know I'm just a bit fed up because I kind of relax because it makes me feel like my chest just goes funny um and once I get up and do stuff it's like I'm fine but right now I'm so tired like like, I've been really anxious at work because I feel like when I'm there, I'm just like, I'm going to get ill because it's like a sickness bill going around and like it's one that makes me feel really anxious. And the idea that I might get ill makes me anxious, but the idea that I might be ill at work makes me more anxious. So it's just been not brilliant. And the heat as well. I'm just like, I'm not having a brilliant time of it. So the last clip you would have seen was filmed on Wednesday. It is now Saturday and I didn't film a little update about yesterday because I just wasn't like well enough to. Um, so I look bloody awful. Um, yeah, um, I, it's now my two days off for the week. Um, but I basically had yesterday off because I was on the shop floor for five minutes, then had to go right back upstairs, proceed to have a panic attack and get sent home. Um, and then I was, like, I lost all, all dignity at work because I burst into tears in the locking room. Um, and just everyone saw my Alice Cooper cosplay. Um, yeah, I lost all dignity yesterday at work, but I finally, I don't really care, to be quite honest. It's not like I plan for that to be a long-time job. Um, so, yeah, yesterday sucked. I still feel really shit. I basically got home and just slept for about two hours and got up and took my makeup off. Had the lunch, something Mama packed for us, and went back to sleep for about half an hour because from the crying, my eyes and head really hurt. Um, and then my mum said, "You can't just sleep all day. You have to come downstairs." So I went downstairs. We watched Emmerdale, Simpsons, Coronation Street. 
friends when my dad brought me in a McDonald's. Which I couldn't eat, to be honest, because my stomach just felt awful. Um, and then I was... I couldn't sleep because I just felt ill. So, I was going to go about 10. I just felt ill. So, I was like half 11 when I went to sleep because I felt a bit better. Um, I think it was the McDonald's that made me feel ill. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yesterday was rough. Um, I basically just had a huge cry about the fact that even to no matter how much I sleep, I just feel tired. Like, first day awake, I was standing still and I was like just moving backwards and forwards. I was so tired, I couldn't function. Like, a woman wanted a gift receipt and I was like, okay, get her a gift receipt. And I just didn't. Like, all this kind of stuff. I just wasn't functioning on Thursday and then yesterday I just didn't function at all. At least I made it through the shift on Thursday. Um, and then my manager wanted these breaks so someone else had to send me home and then it was just like if that was the same guy who sent me home the last time I literally I got sent home Wednesday last week and when he came in I was like hi Megan like he sent me this is the second week in a row you've had to send me home like I felt so bad there was two people already called in sick and I was saying I was like I don't feel like I can go there was a lot of I was like, no, I don't feel like I can go home because two people already calling sick. And he was like, just don't worry about it here. Like, people are calling sick all the time. It's an everyday occurrence. Like, don't worry about it. Because they'd already asked if I could change my shift. So they'd have more people. And, like, I just felt like I couldn't leave. And I think that made me feel worse. And there's a bug going around the office and sick makes me feel anxious. So I'm just like, bug around the office? I'm not working in the office. Bug going around just, like, my team. I don't know if it's my team or the whole shop. There's a, this is it, it's book going around and that's making me anxious being there because I'm like, I can't get sick. Which is stupid. So, I don't know what's going wrong with me. Because I haven't ever been this bad, I don't think. I think when I went to New York I was, but that was like one week of my life. And I just figured out I had anxiety, so I was worse then anyway. But I've not been like this bad randomly for no reason. Like, I just... Even when I was doing my A levels, I don't think I was just bad. I don't know what's causing it. So. I'm just exhausted. It is. 20 to 1, and I've just managed to get out of bed. Um, I've slept the majority of the morning. And I plan on having an apple and just sleeping off whatever it is that's making me like this. I've got. I have an itch sale tomorrow with my friend, then we're going to go to Primark, my second home, um, and hopefully that will cheer me up because retail therapy usually helps. So yeah, just saw that up to you. And as for the medication, I didn't take it yesterday, again I was just too scared and I needed this not be. I'm very weird about medication, I didn't take paracetamol until I was 17. I would just deal with the migraines or the headaches, like headaches that would make me cry, I wouldn't have them because I was just like, I don't like putting unnecessary chemicals in my body. But even my mum, who is also funny with medication, has said, just take them, like, they'll be off to be fine. So, I think because of heart medication, that's why I'm weird about it. But, it's just as and when. So, next time, I'm going to take them and see what happens. I went to the pharmacist, I wasn't sure how to take them, and she just said, take the dose, like, take the lowest one in the dose, and I said, I think you're next time, take the next level, and, you know, just, you've just got to, kind of, try and never it, I guess, so. Hey guys, so, a quick update on my medication. I've taken, I'm going to start from the beginning. So, like, last week I took them on Monday and Tuesday at work when I felt anxious. And they worked. I can't deny that. I felt fine afterwards. I didn't feel anxious or anything. <coughs> what I did notice, though, is that I had no... I took them, like... I had two lates last week, and I took... So, that's at, like, 23 that I start. So, the, on the Monday, I took it at about... 20 past 2 
on the Tuesday I chuckled about half one I was on the bus on the way there um, and what I noticed is I couldn't eat my lunch um, about three hours later I just had absolutely no appetite I physically couldn't eat and it was really uncomfortable and I would have like kind of stomach cramps it's kind of like when your stomach's like tensing and it feels like it's kind of doing this a bit like when you feel like you're gonna retch that's kind of how I felt and then later that night about nine o'clock I was feeling sickly not like nauseous not like I was gonna be sick but just kind of sickly and it took me a long time to get to sleep um which it's not fun um but I still wasn't anxious about feeling sickly so obviously they last quite a while um but since starting to take them I haven't felt myself at all I've had barely any appetite I've not slept amazing and I just feel sick pretty much every day I haven't taken them every day um sometimes it's been like two days in a while like I took one today and I took one yesterday and the two first days I started taking them but sometimes it's been like a few days in between so it's like a bit all over the place and whenever I do have one I just have one so I would I'm kind of scared of what two would do like one is enough to take away my anxiety but I feel like two would make these side effects I seem to be having um worse so that's just like an update I have got to point on Thursday anyway <coughs> sorry I've just eaten and it's like stuck in my throat I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday which is two days away and I'm just gonna mention it to them and just be like should I stick with it will it go away like or should I maybe try something else because it is just an as and when and I'm only taking one I shouldn't really feel so not myself yeah that's just a little update to say how I'm doing with them because I'm, I think in the last clip of this video I'd said I was a bit scared to take them and I get why I was scared to take them I don't feel great honestly um it's not taking my anxiety away it's just helping when I am really anxious why am I holding this egg on me um so yeah I think I'll leave that for this video so yeah I'll see you next time bye